G'day folks. Well this video I want to dedicate uh, the topic to header wrapping on a rear mount turbo setup. Now I want to sort of talk about the benefits and the disadvantages of header wrap versus non-header wrap. Um, I just want to clear something up straight up off the bat, okay? Header wrap will not produce full boost any earlier in your revs than it will non-header wrapping. Now that is just a plain, that's a fact, okay guys? So that's, I want to clear that up because there's some people, there's a bit of a misconception that it'll bring it on, uh, you boost a bit earlier. No, it won't. Now I say that as whatever boost you have targeted, whether it be seven pound, 10 pound, 15 pound, whatever, it will be the same with no header wrap and it will be the same with header wrap. The only difference a header wrap does with a rear mount turbo setup, it spools the turbo a lot earlier. Now, spool in, in terms is when it starts to uh, build from a negative pressure, when you're in vacuum, then you hit neutral, uh, it's not pressure nor it's neutral, but from that time on, when your turbo starts to ramp, uh, header wrapping, because of the hot exhaust gas you are you are retaining, it will excite the turbo a little bit earlier. And what that does, it makes it more linear when it comes on, so you just have a, a, a really nice transition period. And um, you're, because you're keeping the hot, you're, you're keeping the temperature going to the turbo, so that the more expanded gas, okay? When you run a, a naked system, like you see here with no header wrap, you'll get the same full boost at the same revs, but it ramps a lot harder. So you don't get that nice linear spoolage than you would uh, with the header wrap on. So it makes it very aggressive um, for when it comes on. Now, this is the first time of uh, run naked with this engine. Now, the other testing that I did was with that old motor, which you can see there, that's a 5 litre, 308 cubic inch. Now, I did the testing with non-header wrap and header wrap, and there, that's what's the results that I came up with. Um, so, uh, this engine is it's going to be um, tested in a few weeks once I do uh, once I get him all together in that, we have a club day and I'm going to show you the results. Again, you've seen the video with it header wrapped. There's a lot of footage of this new motor running around the track and now you'll get to see the results, which I know what it's going to do. It's going to ramp fairly hard, <laughs> but you'll see it and it's going to be um, very interesting in that aspect because it, it and, and I'll tell you another thing too, it does take a little bit longer without the wrap to warm the turbo up and to and to just to bring everything up to temperature. Uh, if that's a drawback for a rear mount, well that's probably a bit of a drawback. It rear mounts do take a little bit of time to generate a little bit of heat. And I found when I first started the engine and we'll, we'll, we'll say around sort of 15 degrees Celsius day to 20 degrees Celsius day in that range. I found it, take, it took around up to about five kilometers uh, of just gentle driving and basically just warming things up. It, it seemed to be as the engine warmed up, like when your water got to temperature, the turbo was really, you know, up to temperature too with cooking. And it's getting the oil warm in the motor getting it all circulated and, and the exhaust gas warming up the turbo as well. Once you do that, 
it was fine. It would operate incredibly. So if that's a little drawback, well, oh, look, I'll tick that as one. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, and I noticed that benefits, ad, um, benefits video, there's been a lot of talk of, of lag. Well, as far as I'm concerned, and this... And I'm living proof, and I, I look, and I'm not going to try and change any of you guys and your views, right? So I'm not even going to go there. I was nearly, you nearly baited me up just then, <laughs> but no, I'm going to stay clear because I know what works, and to me, the proof is in the driving and all the action shots that you've seen. So that's that's enough. That's all I need to uh, prove. But uh, you can make up your own mind, guys, and you're entitled to your own opinions, and I. Don't mind if you do uh, voice your opinions, but if it gets personal, well, it's a different matter. But as far as that, everyone's entitled to their opinion. If it's a genuine, validated opinion, look, you can write one in, guys. I don't mind. So that's my little um, take on header wrapping and what effects it does uh, to the way it ramps up your turbo and... Yeah, that's, that's what I've learned. So, for me, I don't think it was worth the, that, um, the little bit of ramp, like that nice linear effect. I think, for me, it's only for me, the, the effects were, it was too damaging for the whole exhaust system because I was keeping so much heat in there, it was destroying the pipes. And what happens was the pipes were literally collapsing under the heat. And... I've been down and, and run around without them. I've had no issues. But as soon as I header wrapped them, the temperatures was um, the, like the temperature gain, and the pipes absolutely just lost their uh, their shape. The whole exhaust system just used to sag, and it, it was unbelievable the damage it was causing uh, through. Let alone putting holes in the exhaust and uh, or in the header pipes. But the whole system was warping and, and collapsing. So I'm not, I'm not going to go back there. I am going to shield any vulnerable bits that are around the uh, exhaust system, protect that, and uh, I'll leave them unwrapped. So uh, there you go, guys. I'm, I'm just dish, dishing out this bit of information from my heart, and I really hope you guys are enjoying my channel because, crikey, I've got some stuff coming up. I really have. Um, it's, it's fantastic. I want to enclose my little trailer and I want to take it over to the mainland and there's a bloke that's um, he's just set up a little dyno shop and he's um, keen, wants me to come over and I'm really keen for him to go over and we'll get this thing dynoed, like get some really a good tune in it with that new box and all the rest of it. So And I've got some really fantastic stuff coming up so I hope you guys uh, hang in there and enjoy my my uh, journey and and you can gain something out of it too so and enjoy it this is what it's all about guys enjoying life and our experiences so uh, I'll put one up very soon so um, alright I'll catch you later